Yeah, it, it, you come in here, and it's a really fun place to come and grab a, a cocktail, a mocktail, um, and it's brand new here in the Highlands. So you can come to Highland Avenue and go behind the post office, and that's the best way to find it, you guys. And so we've already talked about one of our cocktails right here, and it's called the Pertady, right, mm -hmm. Jane? Yeah. And t remind us again what this is. Uh, so it's a, a riff on a Manhattan. It's got uh, bourbon, sweet vermouth, Benedictine, and bitters uh, infused with sweet potato. And then mm. a little toasted marshmallow on top. I like that. For those who want a non-alcoholic drink or maybe they're participating in dry January, you also have a full menu of options for them. And you're going to make one. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to we're going to show a couple today. Uh, the first is an orange blossom turmeric limeade. Uh, so we start with lime juice that we juice fresh in house. Ooh. Uh, this is orange blossom turmeric local honey. Uh, give it sort of a earthy spice. Yeah. A little soda water. That's a very pretty color. Isn't it? It really is. Why did you guys think it was important to have non-alcoholic options on your menu? Uh, well, I mean, I think, you know, the, the demand is there. The, the public has spoken. That's a thing that we all want in January. Uh, and, you know, I kind of reject the, the mocktails. I kind of think yeah. that, you know, you should just have delicious drinks uh, that live up to the same standard as cocktails. But we don't need to pretend that there's alcohol in them. Uh, to enjoy a delicious, beautiful beverage. I agree. I can smell that, especially with the yeah. mint right there. Mm -hmm. That smells so good. You also, one of your non-alcoholic drink options is just straight up chocolate milk. <laughs> it sure is, yeah. Uh, so we're featuring uh, some chocolate milk from On Tap Dairy Farm. Uh, and it is, it is exactly that. It is just chocolate milk, uh, but we serve it to you in a fancy little coop. So you can feel fancy while you're feeling like a fourth grader. You don't even know how much I love that. <laughs> and when it comes to the farm to table, farm to glass concept, why is it important for you guys to source locally as much as possible? I think, you know, keeping the dollars in the local community uh, are, are important to us across the board. But I think especially supporting local farms uh, is important to, to keep access to food high and to keep food systems local and accessible. They actually go to the farmer's market to get a lot of their items. There's also a produce section here inside Epiphany. So if you want to have um, a cocktail, maybe a nice glass of on tap chocolate milk, you can also grab a spaghetti squash on your way out the door, you guys. They're open every day of the week, 4 to midnight. He just poured that glass of chocolate milk mm -hmm. into that nice little um, martini <laughs> mm -hmm. type glass. And I'm sitting here thinking... When something's in a glass that nice, you don't care that it's chocolate milk. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter one bit. Presentation. And I like that you could grab a, a spaghetti squash. But that's squash. how a glass of chocolate milk should be should enjoyed. Be. <laughs> I like Why that. Not? Mm -hmm. And that, if you want to, you dip your squash in the chocolate milk and you just be good to go. I don't know if that's the way you want to go with that particular treat. But hey, to each their own, Erica Fox. <laughs> All right, let's talk a little bit about